Hey Math 31, I had a question for how we do section 3.5 number 81. So I wanted to take a look at it. They gave you this formula here. They said, hey, g of x is gonna be f of x minus two. So given what we've learned about transformations in this section, we see the minus two here, but it's in the grouping symbols. So that's actually gonna shift our graph two units left. Oh, excuse me, two units right, my bad, two units right. All right, so I, I pasted in here the original graph. So I wanna take a look at some of the interesting points here. So I want you to think about this point here, two comma zero. Now, if I was gonna shift it two units right, that when you move right to left, that affects your x coordinates. So if I wanna go two units right, I'm gonna go here, right? And that ordered pair, I know it's a little hard to see, would be four zero, which is why I have four zero over here, and that's because I shifted two zero for, excuse me, two units to the right. All right, so kind of going off of that, let me erase all of the shenanigans here. Let's try another ordered pair and see if we can figure out where that one went. So if I look at this ordered pair, this looks to be around zero five. I'm gonna just approximate it. Now, if I wanna move two units right, I would move this way. And again, if you're moving to the right, that's gonna affect your x coordinate. So this should now become the ordered pair two comma five, oops, excuse me. And when you see that ordered pair two comma five, you can see it on the new graph G because I've been shifted two units right. And you can do this for as many ordered pairs as you need, but this is the graph that is two units right to my original graph. All right, so there is number 81. Thanks so much, everyone. Bye.